<coughs> What's up, Android fans? Techie Me is back, and this time we have a quick look at five launchers, so let's get to it. <laughs> First up, we have Ubuntu Phone Like Experience. This is basically a swipe gesture with which you can access your favorite apps. Check it out. You can have any launcher you're running. Right now, I'm running Apex Launcher, and right here, if I swipe, check it out. I get Ubuntu style apps. I can go to the, my contacts, my SMS, and all these apps. You have about seven apps to choose from. If I want to go back home, just leave it at the bottom. Swipe up and down to select the app. It'll show you which app you're selecting. And suppose I want to go to Play Store. I just leave it and boom. Now through the Play Store, I can again swipe, bring it up, and go back home. So let's check out the settings real quick. So here we have how to use the app, application list, which applications you want to add, which applications you want to remove. You can have up to 8 right now on the free version. If you want to buy the pro version, then you can have unlimited. Alright, then you have themes and you have sidebar preference. Sidebar preference is basically which side you want it to pop up from. You can even have themes. Right now I have the black theme running. You can have the gray theme, where the apps are grayed out and uh, you can even have the brown. Let's apply the brown one and check it out. Let's see how this one works. See, all the apps are in brown background. So that's Ubuntu style phone experience. All right, next up we have Action Launcher Pro. Action Launcher Pro, basically there's no app drawer. On the leftmost side, you have all your apps categorized according to alphabetical order. You can swipe A to you can swipe all your alphabets and you can go straight jump to like U or V or whatever. You can even scroll up and down. You have about up to five home screens. You can even have set it up to like three. On the top you have this persistent status bar kind of thing where you can either go straight to apps from anywhere on the screen. You can go to search where you go to basically to your Google search. You can go to a Play Store and you can go to add. And add, you can either add apps to your home screen, widgets, or wallpapers. Take a quick look in settings. So basically, we have how many home screens we want, we can set up. We have the dock separator, we have the page indicator, and we have all these settings like background, and we have home button, toggle, what happens when you press the home button. So not a lot of settings, but a couple of them. So it's basically for those people who like their apps listed out in a list alphabetically. So that's Action Launcher Pro. Next up we have 360 Launcher Pro. 360 Launcher Pro is basically this. Check it out. Alright, it just looks like regular Go Launcher or something. But the best part about 360 Launcher, if you swipe from either the right lower corner or the left, or the left lower corner, basically you get this. Nice little animation and you get these. There you go. Your recent apps, your hot apps, your installed apps that is lately installed and you have your safe center where basically it has its own custom apps installed so you can either pop from the left left corner I mean the right corner or the left corner and this nice little animation pops up and you have quick access to basically your recent apps and all that stuff right it even has a cleaner suppose I want to run the cleaner I just click on it and boom see it ran the cleaner. It kills all the running apps. It has your quick settings. It has themes you can install. In tools, in screen mode, basically you have, this is basically like profiles. You have either sleep mode, outdoor mode, vibration mode, time switch, and all that stuff. So it happens what, what does what. Basically you can toggle your brightness and volume and all that other goodies. All right. Let's take a quick look at settings. So under settings, we have add theme. Wallpaper, screens, you can manage your screens, and preferences. In preferences, we have we can have screen scroll, scroll loop, we can have lock desktop, we can have desktop settings basically, like screen transition effect and all that other goodies. Like, check it out. I have the screen transition effect set to snake. Other launches don't have the screen transition. Check it out, see? Boom. Next. Boom. So it has it's it has custom widgets as well. And we have the app drawer. Click the app drawer and boom, the app drawer pops up. Through app drawer you can either go back home, you can even click right there and you can go to your music, your videos, or your pictures. See? Boom, pictures. Alright? Through your app drawer. 
So that's a quick look at 360 Launcher. If you like it, you can install it and check it out yourself. Next up, we have Swaps Launcher. Swaps Launcher is basically not a launcher by itself. It's basically, I'm running Apex Launcher, and with the swipe gesture, I can access all my apps. Check it out. Swipe, and the list of all my apps, like Action Launcher, pops up. All right, I can go to all my apps, I can even go to my favorite apps which are on the top. I can even have recent running apps right there. But let's take a look in the settings of swaps. So we have transparent indicator icon and all that stuff, enable swaps. You can have show recent apps, so running apps. I can even have up to nine favorite apps right there. Okay, so now we swipe again. Right there, we pop up. We can go to like, let's go to Amazon. We go to Amazon, we swipe again, and we can switch back again right or we can go to catch and then boom you can swipe again so that's basically swap the last app of today is launcher 8 this is basically a window style launcher check it out it gives you the window style theme swipe and you go to all your apps right it was loading the apps uh, swipe again and then you go to all your quick access to all your apps your, this is basically your app drawer you can click on any of these tiles, you can rearrange these tiles, just hold them down. You can resize it, rearrange it, you can unpin it, just like Windows 8 or Windows Phone experience, right? And you can go straight to your gallery, you can even go to calculator and if I click menu, I can go to add. I can add widgets, I can add apps, add shortcuts, add others and new folders. Let's add a widget. Let's add the catch widget, so right there. So you can basically add widgets to it, gives you that bluish theme. You can set your, you can have different themes, red, green, whatever theme you like. All right, so it's basically like Windows Phone Experience on your Android. And the best part about Launcher 8, it's got its own lock screen. Check it out. Just swipe it up. You don't want to swipe it, it just bounces back. Swipe it and you can see. Alright, so these are the five most unique launchers. Ubuntu, Action Launcher Pro, 360 Launcher, Swaps, and Windows 8 style. That's it for now. Let me know what your favorite launcher was. My favorite was Swaps. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like it, favorite it. It helps me out a ton, guys. That's it. This is Tech and Me signing out. Peace. Bye-bye. Shoo! Tech and Me. Tech, tech and me. Thank <laughs> you.